new storm team. Well, I'm here to tell you folks, it is really feeling like winter out there at this time. As we look at our current case cam here in Bismarck, we are seeing some of that light snowfall entering into our viewing area once again. And our current temperatures are quite cold at 33 degrees and the winds are whipping out of the west northwest at 28 miles per hour. But looking here in Minot, that snowfall is really starting to increase in intensity here in our current temperatures are at 29 degrees and the winds are out of the west at 22 miles per hour. But as we head over into our current storm team radar, we are starting to see some more of that snowfall starting to develop between Dickinson and Bismarck. And this is going to continue to trail its way towards the south and east. And meanwhile, in our north and eastern counties, this snow band is continuing to move itself towards the south and west too. And this is just going to be something we're going to be watching throughout the day. And we could be seeing some good snow hourly rates in our northern tier counties as well. Looking at our current temperatures, our temperatures Temperatures are quite cold, mainly in the 20s and the 30s, and this is just going to continue throughout the day today. So really don't expect any sort of warm up and our winds are coming out of the north and west about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So it is quite gusty out there. And speaking of wind gusts, our wind gusts are coming out of the north and west about 40 to even near 50 miles per hour. So it is quite a hazardous sort of day. And speaking of hazards, the visibility is really low in some locations, including there in Minot at 1.7 miles. So make sure you are staying safe on the roadways, folks, because this is some serious stuff. Now, we have this area of low pressure that's pivoting that moisture into our viewing area and that's going to continue throughout the day today and into our Wednesday. And in fact, we still have those plethora of winter alerts with these alerts remaining in effect through tomorrow evening. And this is where we could see the greatest amount of snowfall. And we're going to continue to see these bands of snow continue to move its way towards the south and uh, the uh, west. And that's going to allow for some visibility issues and even near whiteout conditions, especially in our northern tier county. So that's something we're going to be watching very closely. And the snowfall will be coming to an end once we get into Wednesday afternoon. So that's something we're going to be watching too. And the wind gusts are just going to continue to persist throughout our day on Tuesday and Wednesday wind gusts around even 50 to 60 miles per hour. And the amount of snowfall we are anticipating will be around 5 to 8, even near 8 to 10 near the Turtle Mountains and here in Minot around three to five inches and Bismarck is on that gradient and that's something we'll be watching throughout the day. Now looking at our five day forecast, it's going to remain cold over the next several days here in Wollaston and temperatures Whew, it's going to be in the teens at times overnight. And once we get into Dickinson, we will see those snow chances throughout the day today and on Wednesday. And we're going to remain on the cold side throughout our Saturday. Now, as far as Minot is concerned, we're going to continue to see those very treacherous conditions over the next 24 to 48 hours. Then we're going to see those cold conditions throughout the rest of the next seven days with teens by Monday. And then we will be watching for another shot of some wintry precipitation by the time we get into our Sunday. And same thing here in Bismarck. We're going to be watching for that snowfall over the next couple of days, and then we'll see a drastic cool down and with that chance of snow by the time we get into the weekend. So, uh, Taylor, it looks like things are going to be relatively on the hazardous side over the next 24 to 48 hours. Andre, thank you so much for keeping us.